scripture request. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, John 316. <laughs> yeah. Right? Hold on, hold on. John 316. All right, what about it? Now when we read John 316, what do you what do you want from that? Well, what do you want us to read it for? Alright, you know what? We're gonna read it and then you're gonna give your explanation of it. Perfect. Alright? John 316, whoever got it. And then we wanna hear your explanation of John 316. Uh, okay. The book of John. Chapter 3, verse 16. Good. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him <coughs> might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not in his is condemned already. Is, is condemned already. Right. So, all right, that's three sixteen to eighteen. So, what what's the point of that? Greg, explain it. Huh? Okay, but no, ex give us some feedback on it. Yeah, there's got to be a reason. You didn't right. just pick that scripture. Hold up, order, order, brothers. Right. right. You didn't just pick that scripture out of nowhere randomly. What made you go to that scripture? Give us some feedback on it. I What's your nationality? The, I'm American nationality, but ethnicity wise, I'm Mexican. Or okay, what is your father? My father's Mexican. All right, so you would, you would be from the tribe of Issachar, oh, the nation of Israel, whether you want to be or not. All right, now, so according to the Bible, what are we teaching? John 3.16 is not for the whole planet Earth. That's only for the world of the Israelites. Right, only for the Israelites. Like, Esau, where you going? What happened? You disagree? Yeah, okay. Esau, where yo? Where you going, Esau? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back, man. You know that? John 3.16? Hey, 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 right. Hey, hey. Somebody real quick. Hold on. Hey, Somebody real quick. Hold on. I'm just, hold on. I'm just here to real quick. Give me St. John 14.15. Right? St. John 14.15. Right? Hold on. Before we even go there, brother, and you don't understand that scripture. Right? Okay. Give me whoever got it. Uh, read it. Yeah, read it. Yeah. The book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 15. Come on. If he love me. Christ said, if you love me, come on. Keep my commandments. So now, Christ said, love is to keep his commandments. So it said, for God so loved the world. What people did he give his commandments? <laughs> to, to who? No, oh, don't, right. don't, don't murmur it. Don't, don't, say don't it louder. Shout. He gave it to who? <laughs> He gave his duh. commandments to the Israelites, right? <laughs> so now, duh. A lot of people don't know that, right. right? Now, he gave his commandments to the Israelites. So the nation that he showed love to was the Israelites. So who is the world that he loved so, in John 3, so when he says, Hold on. That world is the nation of Israel. It's not talking about the whole planet Earth. You have to get understanding on it, right? Let's prove that with the whole Testament. Isaiah 45, 17. And don't say that's the Old Testament because the old and the new go together. Right, oh good, good for you. I, I like that. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Are you a Christian? A Christian that loves the Old right, Testament. Right, right. The world is getting better. That's actually right, but I shiver my shot. The world is getting better. I actually studied the Old Testament a little bit more than the New Testament. Oh good for you. Good, good for you. Yeah. you. Well, you should study both of them evenly balanced, but that's good. That's good. You got to study the whole Bible. Yeah, yeah. Because Christ said, "I come in the volume of the book." Right. All right, so yeah. check this out. Check out check out the world in Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45, 17. Right. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. Good. But Israel. No, everybody. But Israel. All nations. But Israel. The Bible says, but Israel. Good. Shall be saved in the Lord. The Israelites shall be saved in the Lord. Come on. With everlasting salvation. With an everlasting salvation. Once we rule, once we take back the planet, it's a wrap. That's it. No other nation is coming back no more. That's it. Right? Come on. He shall not be ashamed. The Lord said the Israelites shall not be ashamed. Go ahead. Nor confounded. Right. We're not going to be African Americans. Niggers. Right? By words. By words. We're not going to be confounded. No, don't know who we are. Every year our nationality is changing. Right, somebody walk up to us and say, what's your nationality? You ask 10 different people, you get 10 different answers. Right, we're not going to be ashamed or confounded no more. Go ahead. 
Out there. Now, when you go in John three sixteen in the Hebrew, in the Hebrew, New Testament right? But <laughs> uh, it's originally Hebrew. All no, like, all no, listen. No. All the languages Greek. come from Old the Hebrew, Hebrew, right? Yes. Yeah. But what were they speaking during New Testament time? They were speaking Hebrew. Christ and the New disciples. Testament? Yes, they spoke Greek. Hebrew. We're gonna prove Paul that too. Wrote, what did Christ? What did Christ say when he was on the cross? What did he say when he was on the cross? Right, he said, God, he said, Eli, Eli, Sama, Nabakana. Right? What did he say? He said in the Hebrew tongue, My God, why have thou forsaken me? Right? What did Paul, when Paul was on the road to Damascus, who came to him and converted him to Christ? And what did Christ speak to him in the Hebrew tongue? So it might have been written in Greek, but they were Hebrews and they were speaking Hebrew during that time. Right, so read what you got, brother, under Greek. Read. Right, right, go ahead, brother, read. This is the book of Acts. Chapter 21. I'm sorry. Chapter 2, verse 21. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Go ahead. That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Go ahead. Now what did it say? Ye so men of Damn. Israel. Hear these words. Well, that's the part you didn't stay you keep for. Keep getting cut. Right, you didn't stay for that part though. You didn't stay for the last part. You keep though. getting the cut. Why you didn't stay for the last part? Jesus is Israel. You didn't stay for the last part. Right, Christ. Christ. Christ is the king of the nation of Israel. Why didn't Paul say there's no difference between Jew or Gentile? Because you had Israelites that were following Gentile customs. So he was saying that middle wall of partition. Give me Ephesians 2 and 11. That middle court wall of partition. Paul was sent to the Gentiles, the Israelites that had forsaken their identity and were following Gentile customs. They were called Gentiles also because they were not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments and they were living under Greek and Roman customs. Be what you got, brother. Did you, did Ephesians, book, Ephesians 2 will prove that. Go ahead, brother, read. The book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse what? 11? Uh, 11, yeah, read. Wherefore, remember that he be in the in, in time past See, Gentiles. Paul said, ye being in time past Gentiles, go ahead. In the flesh. He said Gentiles in the flesh, meaning they were doing the works of the Gentiles. They were Israelites born in the flesh. They were the seed of Abraham and the tribes, but they were doing their works. Their fleshly works was of the Gentiles. They, they were following the cuss. They were leaving their children uncircumcised. They were eating swine flesh. They were sacrificing the false gods. That's why I said you were Gentiles in the flesh. Your works in your body, in your flesh, you are not following the commandments of the Most High. Right, come on. Who are called uncircumcision. Who are called uncircumcision. Go ahead. By that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hand. Because Israelites that wasn't keeping the law, they were also known as spiritually uncircumcised. Right, when they weren't keeping the law, and a lot of them were actually not circumcised because they was under Greek and Roman custom. Right, come on. That at that time, he was without Christ. Now these are, these are, now notice Paul called them Gentiles. He said you were Gentiles because you were without Christ. Come on. Being aliens. And they were aliens, right? There's, there's uh, times in the Bible where the Bible refers to Israelites, even Israelites as strangers or aliens because they were alienated from their own nation. Right, come on. From the Commonwealth. From the Commonwealth, from their home nation, from their home based nation. They were alienated from it. Go ahead. From the commonwealth of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. What was their commonwealth? Israel. Israel. See that? So he said you were Gentiles because you were alienated from your Israelite identity. So there's there's um, instances in the New Testament where Gent Israelites are considered Gentiles. So he said there's no difference, meaning an Israelite Jew that was already under the law of Moses and accepted Christ and allowed on him, and a Gentile Israelite that accepted their nationality and came back to Christ, they both can be saved. Because by blood, both of them are technically Israelites. It's just one is living as a heathen, and the other one was living as a Jew. Now, now, now watch That's all it was. Now watch my time. If you be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is seated on the right hand of God. Set your affection on the things above, not on the things on the earth. For you are dead, and your life is here with Christ. And God, with Christ who is, who is our life, shall appear. Then shall you also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your memories which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, uh, uncleanness, evil, evil, no. evil <laughs> ordinance, affection, evil, 
conscience. Oh, and on the affection. Yeah, which is like idolatry. Yeah. For, let me, yeah, yeah, let, for, for which things say the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in, in the which you also walked sometime when you lived in them. But now you also put off all these things. These anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of all, out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds, and I put on the new, new man with his right, stop, stop right there, brother. No, 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 no. We don't need you to read the whole chapter, okay. brother. Come on. Okay, this, 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 I'm gonna get now, to hold on. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free. But Christ is in all and, and those in are all, all scattered as well. Give me Colossians 3 and 1. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, we're going to get that. Give me um, Colossians 3 and 1. Now you're going to run away like you did something. Slither away. You're going to slither away like you did something. The natural branch is what he does like. The Gentiles, the other nations, because they receive our identity and nationality and get to live like that. Who's, who's in the land of Israel now claiming to be a Jew? The so called Caucasians, not blacks and Latinos, right? <laughs> Because that was part of the Israelites' curse. We were cursed by God. Our identity and nationality was taken away, and it was given to the other nations to provoke us to jealousy. Right, right, but that's why Paul said we're going to be grafted back into our natural branch. Right, right, right. You understand? That was talking about the Israelites' identity and nationality falling and being given to the other nations. Because now on the earth, who's seen as the Jew and Israelite on the earth today? The so-called white man in Israel, not our people. And we can explain all that too, but let me get this. He, he slithered with Colossians and read, but get Colossians 1 and 1. Colossians 1 and 1. Let's see who Paul was writing to in Colossians. All right, Colossians 1 and 1. Right? The uh, book of Colossians, chapter yeah. 1, verse 1. Go ahead. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ. Come on. By the will of God. Go ahead. And Tim Timotheus, our brother. Go ahead. To the saints. To who? To the saints. Who was Paul writing to? The saints. To the saints. Come on. And faithful brethren. And the faithful brethren. We already cleared up who Paul's brethren were in Romans 9. My kinsmen according to the flesh, my brethren. Go ahead. And Christ. Me. Which are at Colossians. Which are at Colossus. Come on. Grace be unto you. Come on. And peace from God our Father. Me. And the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. We give thanks to God and the Father. That's it on that. He said to the saints and faithful brethren that are at Colossus. Those titles belong to Israelites. The saints, Psalms 148, 14, Psalms 149. The saints are the Israelites. And Psalms 50 and 5 and Leviticus, the first chapter. The saints are the Israelites. You understand? So now, when, what you got? Galatians, yeah, yeah, read that too. Yeah, read. Read. The book of Galatians. See, you got to remember, Israelites were scattered in different lands and we were going under different names. But in these lands and captivities, we were alienated. Because remember, the southern and the king, the southern and northern kingdoms of Israel fell. Under the Assyrians, the Babylonians, right, the Persian and the Medes, and different captivities. So we were scattered. And that was part of the prophecy in Deuteronomy, the 32nd chapter. So now Paul had to bring back all of scattered Israelites back to the fold. Let's get that. Read what you got, brother. Paul, in a pastor, not of men, not of my man, but by Jesus Christ. Yeah, come on. Read, read. And God, the Father, read. who raised him from the dead, and all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galilee. Right, Galatia. Galatia. On the churches of Galatia. Yeah, that's Galatia. Galatia. All right, read what you got. James 1 and 1. Read. The book of James. Chapter 1, verse 1. Go James, ahead. a servant of the Most High. James, a servant of the Most High. Go ahead. And of the Most High power. Go ahead. The Howard shot to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. To the who? 12 tribes. To the 12 tribes. Go ahead. Which are scattered abroad. Which are scattered abroad. Right? Now, <coughs> let's go deeper. Did you have natural Gentiles that cleave to the Israelites? Yes, you did. You always had that all throughout history. Whenever they saw the power and the wisdom was with us, hell, even, even uh, the Babylonian king, he said, great is the God of Daniel. Right during the time of Esther, it said many of the people became Jews because of fear. So even in New Testament times, you had Gentiles that cleaved unto the Israelites and wanted to follow our God. But salvation is still for the children of Israel. We are the top nation that's going to rule other nations. Are we with the children of Abraham? Yes, we are, of course. What's your nationality? 
Oh uh, yeah, you but, from the tribe, um, the tribe of Simeon it, said, it, it says that that all those who live by faith are children of Abraham. Right. Not just Give me um Not Galatians 3. Give Gentile. me Galatians 328. Just anyone who lives by faith. Is a child of Abraham? A child you of sure? Abraham. Yes, he does. All right, but who was who was chosen as the children of Abraham? Israel. All right, there you go. You answer. There you go. Everybody answering right, themselves cut. tonight. They cutting themselves. Everybody huh? answering themselves. All right, hold that and let's get this. Galatians 3 and 29. Read. It says it later. That that if he be Christ. All right, hold on. All right, hold on. But wait a minute. Read. The book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 29. Uh, start at 16. Get 16 first. Galatians 3, 16. The book, the book of Galatians chapter 3, verse 16. Come on. Now to Abraham and his seed. To Abraham and his seed. Go ahead. Where the promises made. Where the promises made. And we cleared that up earlier. Paul said who the promises were for in Romans 9. Go ahead. He saith not. And to seed. As of many. Not to seize as of many. Come on. But as of one. But as of one. Come on. And to thy seed. And to thy seed. Come on. Which is Christ. Which is Christ. Yeah, how was shy. Now, what was that seed? Jump down to 29. And if. Verse 29. And if he be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed. Come on. And, and heirs according to the promise. So now, notice it said. Is one seed, and if you are Christ, you are Abraham's seed and heir to the promise. Now, what is that one seed? Now, give me Romans 9 and 7. All right, now let's clear it up. One, two, three. Right? Three hit a quitter. That's right? right. All right, one, two, three. You need Galatians 3.16, then you need the 29th first, and then to cap it off, you need Romans 9 and 7. All right, Romans 9 and 7. Read that, bro. Romans chapter 9, verse 7. Come on. Neither, because they are the seed of Abraham. Not because they're the seed of Abraham. Everybody just can't be that chosen seed, even that seed of faith. Not because they're the seed of Abraham. Go ahead. Are they all children? They're not all children. Anybody that's the seed of Abraham in faith. No. Neither because they're the seed of Abraham are they all children. Come on. But in Isaac. But in who? But in Isaac. But in Isaac. Come on. Shall thy seed be called. There you go. That's how it caps off. You got Galatians 3.16, Galatians 3.29, Romans 9 and 7. Capped off. That seed is Isaac's seed, which was Jacob and the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, good. So they're not teaching y'all this. This is not y'all fault, but they're not teaching y'all this in the church. All right, good. Before I say anything, I just Huh? I just, before I say anything, I just want to say I, I have nothing but love for you guys. Prove it right now. Yeah, how do you love? Oh, yo, 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 yo. Sorry, I'm sorry. I just, like, I just want to ask. How do you love? How you do? How do you love us? Only through Christ. I can't, huh? I can't love without Christ. No, what is, what is the, what is the biblical? If you love us, what do you, what you must do if you love us? No, not, no, I don't know what you're to do that. <laughs> the Bible, I, the Bible, hold on, but I'm saying the Bible gives you, hold on, but before you go into your question, you have to understand what you're saying. Otherwise, your question is null and void. If you don't even understand what you're saying, wait a minute, but, but before you even go there, how could you love us if you don't understand love? What does the Bible say love is? See that? You know what? We just got taught a lesson. Don't ever say something out of your mouth and you don't know what you're talking, what you're saying. I love you. I, all right, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, if, if I say, I love you, Dominicano. You say, well, this Moreno is crazy. What do you mean he loves me, man? This Cocolo talking about. Moreno, Moreno loco. Moreno loco. Right, but this Moreno telling me he loves me, man. He gonna say, Moreno, prove you love me, Moreno. Right. <laughs> now, how does someone prove they love you with a Christ-like and biblical love? Y'all not getting it. If y'all real Christians, y'all supposed to know this. Say it again. And what else? Loving your actions. Say it again. Actions and the truth. What is the action of love according to the scriptures? How do we serve one another? Anyway, so about what? <laughs> Forgiveness and what else? Y'all bring it home. Bring it home. <laughs> Give me first John five and three. Let me let y'all off the hook. All right, no, first John five and three. I'm gonna let you finish your question, but hold on. Because you said you love us. So my was hold on, wait. Okay, wait. Read first John five and three. Read. No, no, no. You cannot say one thing if I'm saying something. Right, good, brother. Read. First John chapter five, verse three. Good. 
For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. Come on. That we keep his commandments. So if you love me, you treat me according to God's commandments. That's what it means, right? Go ahead, read. And his commandments. And his commandments, go ahead. Are not grievous. And his commandments are not grievous. So don't, don't ever say, I love you. You got to prove what you're saying. You got to understand what you're saying. If you love us, you have to treat us. Yo, yo, I, there's one teacher, right? Brothers want to teach, get in order, join the camp, learn some scriptures. All right? That's the second time, brother, all right? There's going to be order out here. I've been too nice for too long. Now y'all going to make me the bad guy. All right, but read. Now, let's continue with the word of the Lord. So that's love. Give me St. John 1415. Say it again? You, no, 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 we don't need that. Do you use that no. because it represents Moses' like speaking, or because you actually have back pain? No, 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 no. Um, I use this is just symbolic. Uh -huh. It's a staff. A staff, a staff, a staff represents rulership. Yeah. So I hold a staff because it keeps me in a mind and a spirit of me being a future king and ruler of the entire planet does your Earth. Lower back the actually Earth, hurt the though? Earth, and the universe. Does, huh? does your lower back actually? I know you're trying to be sarcastic, but no, no, no. I'm not being sarcastic. my lower back does not hurt. No, right? no, I'm trying to ask you. Like, I know you're trying to be facetious. Right, right, right. Right, trying to be. Right, trying to be it's a God. You know what? Let me cut her. Let me cut her. Let me cut her real quick. No, Give me um, Zachariah eight. Give me Zachariah eight. Let me cut her real quick. It's a cartoon. Let me cut her real quick. That's why I'm trying to get slick. Right? Do you actually have lower back pain, Moreno? Does your Moreno back hurt? Does that back of the Moreno pain him? That's why he has that cane? Right, God, brother, me. Let me cut this car real quick. Right, God, brother, me. Zachariah 8 and 1. Read. Read. See that? Like I said, right. the back is real nice, but right. don't make me the bad guy. Yeah, don't make me the, 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 the bad guy. Don't make me the bark on Read. Them, Read. The book of Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 1. Come on. Again, the word of the Lord of hosts came to me saying, Go ahead. Thus says the Lord. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I was right. jealous for science and great jealousy. Come on. And I was jealous for her <laughs> with great fury. Come on. Verse 3. Thus says the Lord, I am returned unto Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. Go ahead. And Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth. Come on. And the mountain of the Lord of hosts. Yeah, fourth verse. That's what I want. The fourth verse. Go ahead, read. Verse four. Come on. Thus, thus said the Lord of hosts. Come on. There shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem. See that? The Lord said, in the kingdom, old men and old women going to dwell in the streets of Jerusalem in safety and peace. Mm. We're not going to have to worry about a cop getting shot in his head right. like East Harlem. Right? Go ahead. And every man, and every man in the kingdom of heaven, our beautiful kingdom to come. Come on, with his staff. Which is what? With his staff. See that every man is gonna have his staff. Come on. In his hand. In his hand. Go ahead. For very age. For very age, because in the kingdom we gonna age. We gonna be kings and leaders and rulers, and we are gonna have our staffs in our hand because we are gonna be kings. All right. So no, my lower back is not hurting. Oh. Right. <laughs> but anyway, I know. Why are you crying? <laughs> Why you hurt for us? You guys are living in such bitterness. The, these oh morenos are so lost. These, these morenos, morenos are angry. Uh, these morenos are so ignorant. Christ has given you these freedom. Moren these morenos. Uh, oh no, moreno, moreno, stupido. Moreno, stupido. Jesus Christ, no. No, 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 no. Listen, we got the truth and nothing but the truth. So help us, Lord. That's right. Right? Don't cry for us. Don't cry Don't for us. Cry, cry, cry for you. Cry for this wicked kingdom. I cry for Jesus Christo Blanco. Right. Cry for the Botanica. Cry which for a lot the of you, uh, uh, hold on. Cut. Right, which a lot of you so-called Hispanics, you love Jesus Christo Blanco. Right. So cry for that in I your don't. ignorance, huh? What color was Christ? Why would he be white? That's what dumb. color was he? He's not white. But what color is he? He's not black. He's dark. Huh? He's not black. He's dark. He's dark. What? Dark what? Dark what? Dark skin. Right? He's dark skin, right? Okay, no. No, she's right. She's right. She's right. He's not black. He's not the color of my hoodie. He's dark skin. He's Moreno, right? Uh, I don't think. Uh, 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 I know. Right? No, when I say Moreno, Moreno like him, no, like him. Moreno means like Hispanic background dark. He's not Hispanic background. He's right? No. Jew. What? What is he? What is he? But no. 
Moreno originally dark. no. Dark, uh, dark hold on, wait a minute. I'm gonna show you how it's words how words dark. evolve. And Che Moreno originally Makes meant sense. that, but you also dark. use more, hold on, brother. You also use Moreno as a term to describe Black American a lot of times, and a lot of times you use it as a derogatory yeah, term, right? <laughs> a, a lot of you Hispanics do. But anyway, um, when we say know. Christ was Moreno, <laughs> meaning he was a do. very dark-skinned, so-called Black man. Now let's get it out of the Bible. Yeah. Revelation one and one. He's dark. Right. But see, she notice how she don't want to say right. he's black. Uh, she don't want to say he's black. Uh, not quite not Moreno. Uh, so the white nah. uh, uh, Revelation one and one. Read. Revelation one and one. Yo, order. Hold up. Order. 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 There's one teacher. Order. 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 order, order. Saying hold on. Hold on. Let me get this scripture. Revelation one and one. Read. The book of Revelation. Read. Chapter one, verse one. Come on. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ according to Revelation. Read. Which read, God gave unto him. Read, read. Show. Listen, brother. There's, 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 hold up, hold up. There's um, King James. But there's order. When a man is talking, you don't yell and talk over him. That, you you learned that in kindergarten at five years old. Something. So exercise that, brother. Show that. that you're a grown man and you're not that. two years old by talking over a man when he's talking. All right, good. Revelation, read. Revelation 1 and 1. Read, read. Revelation. Read. Chapter 1, verse 1. Come on. The revelation. And you're still doing it. And you're still doing it. He preaching for And you're still doing it. Four years old and not 40 years old. King James. And he's still doing it. This is simple as hell. By order, order. It's simple as hell. By no order. Right, read what you got, brother. Read. The book of Revelation. Chapter 1. That's why he got checked. Right, God, brother, read. The read. revelation of Jesus Christ. Come on. Which God gave unto him. God. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. The revelation of Christ, of Hamashiach Yahushua. 14th verse. Read. Yes, that's right. Right, 13th verse, matter of fact. Read. Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Come on. One like unto the Son of Man. One like unto the Son of Man. Go ahead. Clothed with the garment. And Christ had on a long garment. Go ahead. Down to the foot. Down to the foot, like we got on. Go ahead. And girt about the past. And girt about the past. I'm going to say it a hundred million times. You want to make fun of us? You want to call us Power Ranger? Right. Then make fun of Christ and call him Power Ranger. Because right. I got on my golden girdle and my long garment down to my foot. Right. Go ahead. With the golden girdle. Really? His head and his hair right. were white like wool. There you go. Right here. You got a brother right here. Got this brother right here. The elder, right? right, got this brother right here. Got the elder That's brother right here. Right. right, you can't get around that. His head and his hairs were white like what? Moreno. Bring it, right? Bring it Halo <laughs> Malo. Right? Moreno, good. As white as wool. Come on. And his eyes were like, were as a flame of fire. Come on. And his feet. And his feet, come on. Like it's a fine brass. Like it's a fine brass, good. As if they burned. In a furnace. If you burn something in a furnace, it's gonna get very, very dark skin, like this brother right here. Very dark. So you say Christ was more he was dark skinned but not more than yeah, no, not black. Say, right, go ahead. They, they don't want to bring it all the way right. home. He was, right. he was an olive color, right. he was of a Mediterranean right. type, tan. he was Middle Eastern, Eastern. Right. he was tan, but they don't want to say he was black or what we know is to be black, which oh, we know is not black. And that color, right? Order, keep order. Big. 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 And his voice as the sound of many waters. The Lord said his voice as the sound of many waters. He spoke strong with authority. And I know Dominicano, I know he don't he don't want to hear that. Uh, Jesus Cristo Moreno, that, no, nah, that man don't want to hear that. Cocolo, hell no. Cocolo, Prieto, Tres Papalas, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, Jesus Cristo, Tres Papalas, no. Right, God, brother, read. Read. The book of Daniels. Because a lot of, look, yo, a lot of our Hispanic brothers and sisters, they racist as hell. Yeah, we got to so tell true. the truth. Yeah, the, white man, is the white men are enemies? Yes. 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 Now we're getting to it. Now we're getting to it. You cut them open. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> you believe Jesus right? is Lord, right? Excuse me. Uh -huh. You believe Jesus is Lord. Oh, you says the white man our enemy, and he appears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he pops up. Hey, hey, thanks for being in, 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 in the uh, uh, the, the city, <laughs> well, you know. right? Huh? <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> but Jesus right. said, Jesus. and that's why you appeared. That's why you appeared. <laughs> Jesus, said, Jesus said, love your enemies. Right, your enemies so of your need? nation. Leviticus nineteen seventeen. Enemies of who? Of your own people. Right, Leviticus. Right, yeah. Uh, we'll get yeah. back to that. Leviticus well, nineteen. Anybody, any enemy. No, no, no. <laughs> but why is it the white man enemy you want to love? Why you ain't say Chinese, no, Japanese, Arab, Eastern? Why you ain't out, say that? But you went right to Blanco. Right. You went right to Blanco. No, because I've seen you right? guys. Leviticus 19. So well, that's why I really right, Leviticus 19. Order, order. Right, Leviticus 19 and 1. 
Anybody. Might well then say use somebody else, yellow, man. Don't always white, use the red, white man. Orange. There's no yellow, there white, enemies. yellow, we red, orange. Look, there's, no, love our enemies. there's no body on the earth that, that color, Jesus man. Said. Let's not be. Let's not go well, out know, into yellows, the twilight zone. Yellows refer to Chinese. Right? No, Chinese people are not yellow, though. I'm just saying. Where the yellow at? Where? Where? Well, white people are not white. Uh, right, we know that. Good observation. Good observation. Yeah, but you call but them what? Them. Why? Because if I say Esau, you won't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, if Esau, I say Edom, you Esau, won't know what I'm talking about. Esau, you mean like Jacob's twin brother? Yeah, fraternal Esau. twin. Yeah, but you wouldn't know that that's a so-called white man. So I have to use the I terminology. I have to use the terminology that y'all understand. But one thing at a time. Read what you got, brother. Leviticus 19 and 1. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 1. Come on. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Come on. And say unto them, Ye shall be holy. What did the Lord I, say? Ye shall be holy. Come on. For I, the Lord, your God, am holy. Now give me 17. All right. So let us know in the first verse, he's speaking to the Israelites. Go ahead. Verse 17. Thou shalt not hate. Thy brother in thy heart. Thou should not hate who? Thou should not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thy brother, thy fellow Hebrew, you should not hate in your heart. Good. Me? Thou shalt, thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Me? And not suffer sin upon him. The Lord said, Thou shalt in any wise rebuke your neighbor and don't suffer sin upon him. Meaning, we're supposed to correct each other every chance we get. Go ahead. Thou shalt not avenge. The Lord said, don't avenge. Go ahead. Nor bear any grudge. Nor bear any grudge. Come on. Against the children. Against the children. Go ahead. Of thy people. Of who? Of thy people. Of thy people. Go ahead. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The Lord said, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. So we supposed to forgive each other when you have enemies among your own people and strife and contention and hatred, we're supposed to love each other and forgive each other.